What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, I'm still alive, bro. I'm still alive. I bought a blood pressure cuff today because mine broke, man. My mechan or my machine that or uh, the the uh, one that you know doesn't you know with the battery, it broke, and uh, I bought it in Bangkok. And then uh, anyway, today uh, tonight I bought one so I could do it manually. Maybe I'll have my uh, girlfriend uh, try and do it live. <laughs> Check my blood pressure live, babe. Yeah. What? What are you getting up? At, what are you getting up there, babe? Oh, Be careful, babe. Look at my girlfriend. She can climb. She can climb the. Get, she can climb the. Uh, she's getting her apple juice. See, she's getting her apple juice. Yeah, the apple juice. yeah she's getting her apple juice. I mix it to the. Yeah, mix it with the stuff. I, I mix it to the mango. Mix shakes. it with the yeah, the mango shakes. Make it make a nice juice with your blend, you know, you know, with, uh, with the blender. Yeah, I got a large cuff, bro. I, you know, I can do it manually. You know, I know, I know how to do it manually. I know how to do all that stuff. Anyway, I, you know, we got nothing else going on out here. We were, you know, we're, I'm trying to do more. I'm trying to get more involvement, more live streams. You know, do more activity because uh, I'm not doing enough activity on YouTube because. You know, I'm busy, but uh, oh, he's he rested in peace. Oh, too bad, too bad. Is he gone? Is he gone? Bye bye, asshole. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> go back to go back to Australia and get a job, Ben Newton. <laughs> go get a job like everybody else, you know. I'm retired. Someone needs to pay the taxes so I can enjoy my retirement, bro. <laughs> so go get a job, bro. <laughs> it's insane, man. It's insane. Uh, hello, Dutch Buddha. How's it going, man? Mikey Pepper, what's going on, man? How's it going on, man? Oh, yeah, I can't mod anybody. I can't even start modding more people that donate. <laughs> Is this channel any moderators, bro? I forgot all about that. I got to check. Man, my blood pressure is doing okay, bro. You know, but watching Philippines Annex today, how, you know, that hate channel, Philippines Annex, the hate channel. Man, I tell you, man, they've gone off the deep end, bro. That, you know, that American girl and the Filipino guy, you know, this, uh, the haters. They, oh, man, it's. You know that there's full of hate now, man. I mean, I think they got a little big headed, bro. <laughs> they got a little, getting a little bit out of control, bro. I mean, that girl today, that that Filipina, that Filipina, Philippine Annex, that Filipina that you roasted today, man. I'm telling you what, bro. I'm telling you what. You better pray. You better pray, man. She didn't watch that show today. <laughs> You better pray, man. You better pray because because um, just you know that that network that they got down here with uh, you know the Filipina and Lapu Lapu that uh, you know was uh, having trouble, you know Sun Sunshine Shoulders problems. They all have this network, you know, you know Subu Dumageti network, and and all and and you know and that and that girl in Lapu Lapu got a what a seven figure. Uh, let me think. Five, no, she got a six-figure settlement from uh, the Filipina on uh, just for just saying her name or just saying her just saying her name in one derogatory statement. Six, I'm trying to Filipino peso, six-figure settlement, and you're sitting there ranting about this girl for four hours, Filipino annex. I'm telling you, man, you're you better hope you don't watch it. That's right, they're number one couple, but uh, they went over the line today with that uh, sissy Kelly man. Rich Bong in the chat. Rich Bong in the chat. Rich Bong. Rich Bong. Rich Bong in the chat. Say hi, Rich Bong, babe. Say hi, babe, Rich Bong. Hi, Rich Bong. Rich Bong in the chat. What's going on Saturday night in the oh, Aussie really? land? Last night I drank some beers with Brevis yes. and his friends. 
And then, uh, you know, I don't want to drink two nights in a row, man, you know, because, uh, you know, we, we're trying to take care of business out here. You know? mm -hmm. Baby, you got some new shoes today. Yes, I got three shoes. <laughs> you got three shoes today. Oh. You got three shoes today, babe. I mean. Yes, I have. You got three shoes today anyway, babe. Just anyway. Rich Bunk, you hope you're doing well. It's Saturday night, man. Yeah. Hi, you Apple. You said hi, Apple. Oh, you've been waiting on Big Shot Travel? Yeah, bro. I guess I should do a better job of uh, doing all that. You know, yeah, Tim K. Yeah, Tim K. He's a loser. <laughs> what a loser. Anyway, I'm just telling you, Philippine Annex, bro. Philippine Annex, you better pray that, that Sissy Kelly didn't see that show today because, uh, you know, if she gets in, she gets hold, she gets a hold of that, uh, she told that girl, uh, in Lapu Lapu, sure. In Lapu Lapu, she's the holder and gets that attorney. You're finished. You are finished. <laughs> You're finished. Mm. Anyway, yeah, I'm trying. I'm David Bond, bro. I'm, I'm David Bond. I'm Uncle. Uh, I'm David Bond's uncle. You know that uh, huge asshole, David Bond. <laughs> you know he's out here winning. I guess you know. Who cares about David Bond, bro? Yeah, I've been using, uh, you know, I've been using, uh, I've been haven't been using that stuff lately, bro. But you know, I got all kinds of stuff, and I got generic uh, Cialis, generic. Uh, uh, I got I got Viagra generic from uh, from the U.S. government. I got Viagra generic from uh, the pharmacy. I got real. Um, I got real Viagra. I got uh, I got generic Cialis, real Cialis. I got it all, bro. I got it all. And the best part is they send me a monthly check and we're taking it, bro. And they pay for it too. <laughs> Bravo, get a job, Ben, and get a job and pay those taxes because I got to enjoy my retirement. Heidi said she can sell. Well, he cares, man. He really cares, but they better hope that uh, Sissy Kelly, bro, Sissy Kelly, Sissy Kelly, man, they were just like, I can't, you know, it really, Philly Dynamics has crossed the line. They've gone in, they've turned into a hate channel before. It was entertaining, it was fun, and it was a, and they had good topics. But it's turned into a hate channel, man. And then today, today, oh, you like my screensaver, bro? You like my screensaver? My <laughs> screensaver. The day, bro. The, the day, man. They had some fat guy on. They had some fat guy that helps the girls. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Big Poppy or something like that. Uh, Oh yeah! Shout out to William from uh, Williams Thailand Retirement. I mean, look at this man. This is why you don't go to Bataya, everybody. This is why you don't go to Bataya in 2024. This is why you don't go to Bataya because uh, you get hit by a car, and then you got to sit there and you got to you got to take care of yourself. This is Williams Thailand Retirement. He's in Chiang Mai, the worst pollution in the world. You know, in that town. You know, he's there by himself in his, uh, ca in his uh, apartment there in Chiang Mai. You know, he had a stroke, man. He had a stroke. He had a stroke, and then he rehabbed through it all, and great. And then they got hit by a car, bro. Roberto Dunn in the chair. Uh, when I get there, can I slap the the back of your head? Yeah, come and, come, come and get some, Roberto Dunn. Roberto Dunn's coming to the Philippines. You know, he, he's he's closing down the food trucks. He's, you know, shutting down Taco Shop. <laughs> no more Taco Tuesday, you know, in a Fort Worth. <laughs> he's 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 mothballing the bass boat. He's coming to the Philippines with his entire entourage. And all he can, all he, all he's thinking about is revenge, revenge, a, a slap heard around the world. Come on, come on. What, what are they call what, what Frank? What's Frank? What's Frank call you? Uh, oh, dang it! <laughs> what's Frank call you, bro? The uh, uh, you know, what's that thing where you get your time, your your stomach tied up, and so you can't eat anymore? Yeah, that's right. Uh, the bypass taco. What is it called? Bypass. Bypass. 
Yeah, come and get some, bro. Come and get some. Because we're I'm bored out here, bro. I'm bored. Uh, Willie's leg looks like Fazio's. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, Willie's gonna give. You know, Willie's a Willie's hardcore. You know, Willie's gonna make it, bro. He's gonna make it. But it's pretty sad that he got hit by that car in Bataya. That's why you know I was in Bataya for like I got sick. I saw you know. It's just everyone was like reckless abandoned in Bataya, bro. It's just completely, uh, it's completely unsafe place to go, bro. And completely unsafe. Gastric, that's right. Gastric bypass uh, taco matters. <laughs> you know, Frank went. You know, Frank went shopping today. Frank from uh, My Morning Brew went shopping today, and he, now he admits. Now he finally admits uh, that is. So his meager social security check doesn't does it is not making it here anymore. His fourteen hundred dollar a month social security check is not enough anymore, and you know it's not, man. It's, Philippines is turning into a uh, newly industrialized country, and uh, the prices are going through the roof. And but babe, you got three packs, you got three pairs of shoes from Thailand, right? Yeah. yeah. And how much you pay for three pairs of shoes? 800 pesos. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Almost yeah. Yeah. We're all fat, bro. We're all fat. <laughs> Me included, bro. I got to stop. I got to quit eating, bro. Jeez. Today, today I, had a, I had a Marie Callender's beef pot pie and then, you know, instant mashed potato. You know, I added the milk, uh, whole milk. I added, you know, European butter, bro. I mean, I mean, I added a Parmesan cheese from Australia. Uh, you know, chill. You know, chilies and garlic and basil and you know, hot. Pe you know the, uh, the. Anyway, I'm just out. You know, yeah, it's just it's crazy. Yeah, 47 in the chat. So anyway, yeah. So what's what else is it talking about? So Philippine Annex is completely. Uh, it's gone. For, it's gone from an entertainment channel to a hate channel. Okay, it's a it's a hate channel now. It's a hate channel. Philippine Annex is a hate channel. And uh, I think you've gone completely uh, over the over the line, man. And that girl, bro, you better pray that girl didn't watch that video. <laughs> oh my God! Look at this! Look at this came out. Brian Smith's first quarter profit and loss. <laughs> What's the profit this month, Brian? Two hundred dollars for the quarter, bro. <laughs> Two hundred dollars. <laughs> Hey, babe, you want to start a piggery, right? Yeah. Yeah, my girlfriend Apple wants to start a piggery, man. But I don't think there's that much money in it, bro. <laughs> I don't think there's much money because of uh, Brian Smith, man. I listen to him, and he talks about the piggery. And uh, forget about it, bro. There's no money there, bro. Look at this. And then uh, they're all, like, clowning on, uh, the you know, Mark Thornton, bro. He's, you know. He's 67 years old, man. They say he's, you know, he's going, you know, I don't, I think he, I thought he was pretty uh, agile, bro. But he, in that video, he like, he like uh, slipped down the steps and he picked himself right up. And I saw him and I, and I congratulated him on, uh, you know, his outstanding uh, achievements, you know, beating up the guy. When I saw him in Valencia a couple weeks ago, he looked pretty agile to me. He's 67, bro. He, he looks like he moved pretty fast to me. You know, they're uh, Heidi. And, uh, and, uh, and Jimmy, <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, go ahead, just flap your mouth and Mark, uh, Mark, uh, Thornton shows up in AC, like, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. Yeah. Your channel manager, bro. I mean, your channel manager, but I mean, where's this clown out here? Here's this clown. Look at this guy, big poppy. This guy, or Big Papa, this guy, Big Papa. So this guy's in a wheelchair. And apparently, remember that guy from Boston back in 2020, 2021? There was a guy from Boston. Every day they have a live stream, and then he'd have like, uh, you start, you know, he'd have, you know, he'd have like a bunch of channels go on, and they all share, they all share subscribers. He tried to build up the channel and everything. But then, um, but then uh, he, he had his, he had a Filipina that was working as a nurse. Uh, in Boston, and then uh, he was at home, you know, all day, and then she would just come and boss him around. <laughs> and then he would, and then, and then, uh, and then she refused to be, she refused to participate on the channel, and 
he was just like uh, he was just, you know it was a sad situation. Anyway, he went away, bro. But apparently, this is his replacement, Big Papa. Anyway, this guy, you know, this guy today, you should have heard the passion, you know, trying to uh, be an advocate for all these Filipino YouTubers, bro. I mean, he's just like, it was like his whole life is uh, predicated on, you know, this dude's whole life is predicated on uh, trying to. Uh, Please, Filipina YouTube bloggers. And of course, bro, breaking news. You're not going to get shit from these Filipina bloggers, bro. When you get out here, you're, all you're going to get is the big. What do you do, babe? What do you do when you want? You don't want somebody on your phone anymore? Why? You block them, right? Yes. Yeah, block, bro. You're going to get blocked. All these girls that. You, you know, say they care about you, they're going to block your ass. <laughs> He's going to get blocked because thanks for the money, sucker, but you're blocked. But I got, but I, but I got a recommendation, sir, actually, to be, uh, you know, I'm going to help. So listen, listen, sir, uh, you, you, what you need to do. Okay, so this guy's coming to the Philippines, right? This guy's coming for the Philippines. So this is what you need to do, sir, because because uh, you're going to need assistance, you know, with a home health aid or a nurse or a, whatever. What I would do, sir, is just stop try, you know, stop trying like to uh, be an advocate and spending your money on uh, Filipinas that are just going to dump you and not even talk to you when you get here. But spend, you know, just save your money, sir, and when you get here. When you get here, you know, you're going to go through an agency to get, you know, assistance in your activities of daily living in order to take care of yourself here in the Philippines. So when you do that, when you do that, you, you know, you start meeting girls, you know, through the agency or through Facebook or whatever. And then that, that, and then if you find one that you like, you know, then, you know, try and start a relationship or something. I'm sure she can help you out and maybe, um, you know, she didn't have kids or anything, and she's a good, 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 granny, good, good, granny, good, good, granny. But anyway, yeah, that's what that's what I would do, bro. I mean, you're wasting your money on all these girls on it was Filipina YouTubers. I ain't gonna do shit for you, bro. I mean, all the let's just face it. You know, if they're a Filipina blogger, big, you know, this is 2024, bro, just like Filipina P, when she went to America, when Filipina P went to America, you know, what, who'd she hook up with? The BBC, bro, she hooked up with the BBC, bro, and that's, that's all that's going to happen, sir. They're gonna go with the black guy, and that's just going to happen, that's just going to happen, sir, because they got to be cool. You're just wasting your time and money, sir. Just wait till you get here. That's what I do. Uh, Ed Lippet. There's good money in. Okay, but, but yeah, there's good money in piggery. I don't know, bro. I don't think there's good money in the piggery. That's just too much work. You know, dot dot dot. What's going on, man? Doctor, what's going on, man? Hey, Ricky. Uh, I think you dropped this. <laughs> what is that? The key? Yeah, I'm crying. Yeah, man. That's the crown, bro. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mark, what's going on, man? Yeah, you said something early. What, what, what did you say? You left a comment or something? You left a comment or something? Was, I'm winning out here. I don't know what you left. I don't know what's a comment that you left or uh, what was that? Uh, yike. What's this? Not Dead Yet Adventures is upset. Let me see here. Uh, oh, I don't see it. Oh, Handsome Man. Yeah, thank you very much, Handsome Man. Yeah, anyway, 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 anyway. No, no. She's a, she, I met her, I met her online, bro. She has nothing to do with that, bro. She has nothing to do with that. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I, I'm not getting involved in any of that, bro, because 
I get big money from the government. You know, thank you, Roberto, first of all, for having, you know, you know, having that entrepreneurial attitude. You know, you're a great American. You're getting out there and making money and paying your taxes. And, and of course, all that goes towards, you know, my retirement. So I, mean, I appreciate it, man. So you certainly come up and give me the slap, bro. Give me the slap. Give me the slap, bro. And of course, we got to film it, bro. We got to film it. We got to film when they, when the PNP put you in them cuffs. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Oh, I mean, I mean, we, you heard, you heard, Roberto, you heard, you heard, listen to that, listen. you heard about Nico's experience, right? Nico's experience, he had to get out of Dodge because he couldn't pass the exit clearance, man. I mean, that's, that's one of the big breaking news. Nico's experience had to get out of the country because he was going to get an exit clearance. <laughs> And he was so panicked. He was experienced was so panicked about that exit clearance. He had to bail, bro. Bail. He was bail. He bailed out of that damn plane, bro. And he went back to Florida and he's got that grandson. Congratulations. What a beautiful kid. So but he had to go, he had to get out of here. No exit clearance, bro. He would have been locked in here for years. He'd been locked, locked in years, bro. Years. I mean, here all those people, you know, you know, in China that owe seven thousand dollars and they and they're there for 24 years, bro. I mean, Nico's experience would have died in Philippines for getting get that exit clearance. He had to bail. <laughs> That's right. What a loser! <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he's Nico. Nico's experience. Listen, man. This man. The dude makes six thousand U.S. dollars a month tax free, and he can't afford. He can't afford anything but to live. You know, he can't afford anything. He can't go anywhere, do anything. He's just completely broke, bro. <laughs> I mean, who makes six thousand dollars a month and is completely broke, bro? I don't know, man. I don't remember, bro. Anyway, yeah, the piggery is a good idea. Keep Apple busy in, with physical labor. Babe, you, would you do the physical labor? Physical labor? Yeah, for a piggery. Who's going to take care of the piggery if you do it? Of course. <laughs> I won't get it. Uh, you're going to do the piggery? Huh? You'll take care of the piggery? Yes. Wow. Well. Yeah. You should take care of your beast if you want to. You should take care of her. Yeah, I'm not doing any piggery. <laughs> well, he, yeah, well, I mean, he came here. He came here, and, and, and if he would have stayed over six months, he would have needed an exit clearance. He wasn't going to get it, bro. He was going to get it. That's why he bailed out. <laughs> you had to get out of here, bro. You had to get out. Anyway. Anyway, we're still waiting on the huge news, bro. The huge news, the break. There's a huge development that we're just waiting on. We're just waiting on a, an official official announcement. But when this comes out, bro, it's going to be boom. It's going to be a huge one, bro. It's going to be a huge one, man. It's going to be a huge one, man. And then uh, the other news is that uh, the other news is that things are happening things are happening to help Barry Jordan okay things are things are moving to help Barry Jordan okay we're really excited about it you know things are happening behind the scenes we can't talk about it and uh, you know Barry's doing a great job of uh, not talking about it but things are moving things are moving for Barry Jordan man and so you know hopefully we'll get some good news soon because you know let's just face the facts man it's this very difficult thing going on but we're gonna try and we're we're working very hard behind the scenes, man. Uh, believe it or not, you know, coming up on this one year anniversary of uh, him being in a, in a, in detention, we're trying really hard to try and help him out. So that's right. Hashtag free Barry J. God bless Barry J. But uh, you know, hopefully, you know, things are moving. There was a huge development uh, today. And so, uh, you know, and hopefully he found out about it. So anyway, uh, yeah, poor Steve, man, poor Steve. Yeah, everyone's looking forward to the news, bro. 
especially me, bro. <laughs> I couldn't believe when I heard this news, bro. I couldn't believe it, man. I was like, damn, bro, this is great news, bro. I mean, this is great news, man, because because everything happens in threes, bro. Has Steve ever made one hat without his name, a uh, video without his name? I have no idea, bro. I mean, I have no idea. You know, he's back now, you know, talking about, you know, you know, talking about it. You know, listen, man, listen, man. Hopefully he just doesn't talk about where to live, okay? That's my big contention is, you know, Philippine Information Channel not talking about where to live in the Philippines because he hasn't been anywhere. He doesn't go anywhere. And that's why, again, that's why, that's why I don't put up content. Because, babe, we're very boring, right? We're, we don't do anything either. Yeah. We don't do anything. I mean, we go we go travel. We travel around, but we go to the same resorts. We do the same thing. You know, we're not doing anything different. I mean, we don't do anything, you know. But boring. We're boring. <laughs> boring, bro. We're boring. It's great, man. Yummy, yummy. When you get, when you get SNR, Roberto... You know, make sure you get some del just delicious orange juice uh, and wild cranberry. And mango juice, too, Roberto. Get to SNR and get some. This is actually uh, water uh, with two packs of uh, of, uh, of uh, electrolyte electrolyte powder. Electrolyte powder. So, uh, you know, fill up, you fill this water up here. And you put two packs of electrolyte powder in here. And then you have Gatorade. Good news for Frank. Well, I mean, we're just trying to help Barry out, you know. But but this big breaking news had nothing to do with any, any of them, bro. It's just a, this is a, just a Philippine YouTube huge story, but it hadn't it didn't have to do with them anyway. Last night, yeah, last night I broke Apple's nail with my foot, so we had to go back and fix it today, babe. I'm yeah. so sorry. Break my nail. Are oh, you going to go visit Barry and bring him some lechon? Oh, very good. That'll be fun. I don't know if he could eat it, though, because of the salt. You know, he's very adverse to salt. You know, a lot of us are. I can't eat it either, Roberto. I mean, I eat lechon, man. And I just like, I just start having convulsions, bro. <laughs> the salt in that, bro, is just ridiculous, bro. I mean, the salt's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, uh, what else is going on? So, uh, oh yeah, yeah, Rick Shaw's back. You know, Rick Shaw's back. Rick Shaw, uh, Rick Shaw uh, in America's back. And uh, wow, man, I like you know, he looks great, man. He looks great. He looks great, man. But I, you, you gotta admit, man, that guy's the best e bigger of all time, bro. <laughs> that e big, you know, is, is the best e gay. He's got all those old dudes, just like you know. Falling over themselves, man, to give him money, man. You know, and the dude's a multi-millionaire, and they're like, you know, he's like, oh, bro, help me. And they're like, ah. It's great stuff, man. Yeah, yeah it's junk food, bro. You know, junk food. You know, go to s &R and what's Barry like? He's like Oreos and uh, cookies and chips and uh you know, stuff like that. Babe, sit down for a minute, babe. Huh? Sit down for a minute. People want to know about your nails. I broke your nails. What What's Barry like to eat in, in jail? French fries. He likes French fries? <laughs> <Joke>. <laughs> I don't know. He ha he ha before I saw, he have many yeah, biscuits. Well, remember, he has a, yeah, yeah, he he has has, a sorry, sorry story. Yes, yes. <laughs> he has biscuits a lot and then the junk foods he has. Yeah, yeah, he has a, he has a lot of stuff in there, man. Yeah. I mean, Roberto's you know Roberto is a Filipino. Uh, he's coming. He's uh, he's Filipino American, you know. He's but he's coming to visit. Visit. He's gonna give me a slap. Mm -hmm. and really? He wants to fight me, and then uh, he's gonna see Barry. But he's gonna bring Barry food. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you know Barry likes brisket. Actually, uh, Roberto, there's a there's yeah, a, that's his favorite. yeah. He likes the he likes barbecue. Uh, brisket and meat, he likes beef, you know. Mm -hmm. And but what Barry really likes, Roberto, is you, if you can get him his the ribs from TGI Fridays, bro. A whole rack of ribs, man. You know, $60, 3,000 pesos 
for a whole rack of ribs and Barry will just be Barry will be in heaven, man. Just get that whole rack of ribs, the size of you know, but it comes with a side of fries, and just give it to him, you know, just put it in the package, give it to him. So he, it, it, so he knows it was sealed, you know. He's all, yeah, you'll love that, man. He'll love that, man. He'll love that. And adobe, uh, you think so? I don't know, man. Adobo. Bring Barry adobo. I don't think he likes Filipino food. He loves brisket. He wants American food, you know. He the from brisket, a, number one. And the more expensive, the better, bro. More expensive, the better. You got anything to say to Frank? You know, Frank... Uh, Hey, you got anything to say to Frank? What? Frank, you know, Frank Batagda, anything to say to Frank? Hi, Frank. He's there? Yeah. He's watching? Yeah, he's watching because he has nothing oh, better to do. You said he's in the SNR. Yeah, he went to SNR. He went to Metro. Uh, oh, you know, wow. and he complained the whole time because he don't have any money to buy the stuff. Because <laughs> wow. he's broke. His social security check doesn't last anymore. But he said he will buy me a iPhone 17 Pro Max. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna buy you that, babe. I mean, I mean, you're doing good, babe. You got shoes. You got your new earrings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got your new earrings. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a look. Yeah, yeah. I take it off. So well, don't take it off, babe. I want you to wear it all the time. Yeah, let's wear it all the time, babe. You know, just don't lose it though. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're working on a gold. We're working on a pendant and a necklace. Uh, we, we paid for your party, babe. You paid. <laughs> yeah, we're having a we're having a birthday party at the end of the month, and oh the, the room is twenty nine thousand pesos for the room, right, babe? For twenty four people. Yeah, twenty four people. Yeah, so twenty nine thousand pesos for twenty four people. Plus, admit uh, they you know they get admission, admission or they get entrance into the park and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna have a big party. At the end of the month, you know, so that'll be cool. Uh, you no, know, she just blocks. Uh, she just blocks the private messages. <laughs> Babe, you want to promote your channel tonight? Why you want? No, babe. I mean, nothing in there. <laughs> you started the channel. You started the channel, and then oh uh, you put up one. How many, you you put up one video, and how many views you have on one video? Today. No, yeah, yeah. Anyway, she put up, she started a channel, you know, and then uh, she has a, already has a thousand subscribers. <laughs> she has a, she has a thousand over a thousand subscribers, and uh, and she put up one video, bro. I mean, that's what I'm saying, bro. I, I mean, have many videos. Things are, you know, things aren't working out, you know, for. Uh, I have 465 views. Let me see, babe. Really? Oh, you have more than one video. I have, of course. Uh, why is it so dark, babe? Is it because of the brightness? Thanks, babe. Oh, you got ten more subscribers. Mm, yeah, you should go live, babe. Oh, you did go live. Huh? No, just, just no, no. Oh, no, what's no. this? Sing along with friends and cousin. Ah, oh, that did it. Let me see here. Uh, your, I see your community. <laughs> Wow, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, you're doing a good, babe. Shorts. You're doing good, babe. You're doing this good. one I negotiated. The, this one. And then my the next next my cousin, she's very angry with me because I tried to negotiate. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Don't show all that, babe. Don't yeah. show that. I show it to you. Yeah, I see. I see. Mm -hmm. That's your very friends. Mad at me. Yeah. Cousins. Yeah, it's your cousin, yeah, Because yeah. the mango is like 50 pesos, and I said 30 pesos or 40. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're arguing over 20 pesos? Mm -hmm. No, the, the, no, my my cousin next next year. No, don't don't negotiate because it's, uh, it's 50 pesos only. Wow. And you negotiate it 30 pesos. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got a good deal, babe. You got a good deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, sizzling. Uh, just, <laughs> let's just face it, man. Let's just face it, man. He's uh, let's just face it, man. You know, just, you know. I really feel bad for this guy, man. The big poppy guy. You know, but you really need it. You know, because it's not going to work out, bro. It's not going to work out. You know, trying to help these people because just they don't care. <laughs> just flat out, man. I don't get it, man. But anyway, we see here. Uh, 
Uh, I like TGIF because it's here, bro. They don't have any Applebee's here in uh, Zabu. They don't have Applebee's here. Mr. Bill, what's going on, sir? Apple. Sizzy Apple. Sizzy Apple. I've been trying a few weeks to get into this chat. Who wants to go to ground zero? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know, bro. I mean, I, you know, I mean, everyone's talking about, you know, Valencia and how great it is. And, you know, you want to move to Valencia? No. No way. <laughs> no. Why not? No, I don't like it there. <laughs> Why don't you like it? I don't like why not? Because I don't fly. Because it's cold? No, it's not about the weather or what. I don't fly. I There's don't, a lot of creepy guys? Like creepy guys? Yes. <laughs> A lot of remember, creepy guys in Valencia. There, yeah, guys. yeah. There's, yeah there's, people, there's very creepy guys in Valencia. Yeah, they're all a bunch of creeps, bro. They're all a bunch of creeps in Valencia, man. I wonder why, man, because it's overrun. That's why it's overrun, man. That's why they all have to go to Samar, Samar and uh, Leyte now. But, but we only went to one place, right, there in the, what's that, what's that place, Henry and the Valencia? Yeah, the brewery. Mm-hmm. We went to the brewery, and it was dark. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Dumaghetti would be good. Yeah, we, we were there. We did a live stream in Valencia with uh, Brevis and uh, and uh, and the other guy, Jerry. Jerry from uh, the Philippines and Beyond channel. We did a, we did a one-hour live stream. And then I saw, uh, I saw Mark Thornton, and I congratulated him on a uh, – you know his fighting skills, <laughs> Jerry, but he didn't appreciate Jerry. it. And then his his girlfriend was there, and then she's pr- nine months pregnant, man. So we had to be careful, man. We had to be careful. We had to be careful, bro. We had to be careful. We ain't going out there to uh, dark. We're not going out. You know, we don't. You know, we like going to the real resorts, right, babe? Yes. We like going to the real resorts. You know, having you know going to the real places. Have you know? That's just, you know, it's, I don't know. There's just nothing there. I don't know. It didn't seem like there's nothing there, but whatever. Are we going to Valencia tomorrow, bro? No, bro. We're going to Bahal, bro, maybe. We're going to Bahal. Oh, I don't think I did, bro. I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't know, babe. Anyway, babe, you go uh, go back over there, babe. And, what? I can't think, babe. And, <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can't think and I can't yell and scream, babe, because you're hey. here, you know? Yeah, you know, you know, I like that when I yell. Can I yell and scream if you're here? Yes. I can? Yes. Okay, babe. You I did before. Scream. Well, you said, well, just stay here and then I'll, 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 I'll just yell and scream. Okay, okay, I'll yell and scream. I get my I will get the juice. Yeah, get your juice, babe. Get your juice. Or coffee, any coffee. Yeah, get your juice and coffee, babe. Coffee, I want coffee. Yeah, get your juice. Anyways, uh, Philly, the Philippines, you know, just retire already. Go home. Just go home to the province, bro. I mean, I mean, Philly, the Philippines, you know, take your vape and your cane. And go home to the province. Ace Bachelor Cole is the new guy in Angel City. Just get used to it. You know what's shocking, everybody? You know what's shocking? Is that Ace Bachelor Cool doesn't know who says style is, bro. He doesn't know who says style is, man. He does not know. He does not he does not know uh, who says styles is, bro. You know, here he is. Here says styles, bro. Here's a Philly in the Philippines video. Says style has been located. See, there he is right there. What a legendary blogger. And Phil in in uh and uh A Special doesn't know who says style is, man. And that, that's a problem. I told I told A Special, man, you better find out who says style is and what happened to him in Angeles City, bro. You know, because uh when things go negative. And, you know, in this case, for Seth Style, he got hooked into that controversy uh, with the uh, with the uh, UCLA dentist. 
they ended up getting caught with two Philippine miners in a hotel, and he was doing live streams with that dentist, and then he got he got caught up in that, and then uh, and then uh, and then uh, and then what's his face called him out and called him called him a bunch of bad names. Well, you know, uh, that guy, that guy Dumaghetti, man, the bodybuilder, Ned Kelly, or Ned, you know, uh, you know, Ned from Philippine Dreams called this guy a bunch of names, and then it went negative, and then uh, everyone was, like, uh, very nasty to him in Angeles City after that, man. And that's what I, East Patrick Cool's got to be careful that didn't happen to him, man. That's what I'm saying, man. I mean, that's why I, don't, I, I disagree with going negative on filling the Philippines. I, I don't think it's a good idea, bro, because – because, you know, the most toxic psychopaths, criminals, you know, there's only three type of expats, you know, over here, man. Psychopaths, criminals, and broke-ass motherfuckers. Okay, there's only three type of, say, three types of expats over here. And you don't want to, you know, Ace Bastion Cole does not want to turn into says style, bro. You know, he didn't want to turn into that, man, because, you know, the most toxic expats in Asia... You know, besides Phnom Penh, you know, I mean, the most toxic expats are in Cambodia, okay? But outside of Cambodia, the most toxic expats are in Angels City, Philippines. Man, they're the worst of the worst, bro. And then if you're running around, you know, Angels City everywhere, and, you know, and you go negative on filling the Philippines, I don't know if that's a good idea, bro. I just don't know, man. Okay. I think you never know, people do it. Yeah, babe. Oh yeah, and some Coke Zero, babe. Coke Zero. How many? And, uh, and two beers, two San Miguel Light. Nothing else. Well, take the wallet, babe. Take the wallet, babe. You get your, uh, get your, get the money. She's gonna go down to the, she's gonna go down to the store, get the wallet. Take a thousand pesos, babe, because you deserve it. I yeah, babe. Money. Yeah, I got thirty thousand in there. That's my daily spending money out here. Of course, thirty thousand pesos. Cause we gotta buy you a bunch of gifts and trinkets, right, babe? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you deserve it. You know, you deserve everything you get, babe. Mm -hmm. You're the best, babe. Be safe out there, babe. Okay. You won't just there. Be safe. Be careful, babe. Be <laughs> careful. Crazy. See you later. Yeah. Be safe out there, babe. Of course, <laughs> there's a bunch of garbage. Of course, of course. Beers too. Two beers. Two beers. You want to get a beer, babe? No, uh, yes. Send me that one. Okay, babe. I will buy. Yeah, babe. I, of course, am. How many Coke Zero you want? Two? I don't need any Coke Zero now, babe. Just give me two beers. Okay, fine. Thank you very much, babe. Love you, babe. Love you, babe. No, babe. Just leave it. I'll throw it tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I will not talk Be safe. I, of course, am, uh, you know, I, I, of course, am a broke ass motherfucker. <laughs> I'm living here in the projects, bro. I'm not no psychopath, and I'm not I'm not a criminal. No, bro. <laughs> Steve, Steve Jones and a chance. Steve Jones, 25 hour security. What's going on, man? You know, that's that's what I'm saying, Steve Jones. I'm out here winning now. You, you see these broke ass losers. In the Thailand YouTube community, I mean, they can't even they can't even find a girl to put on YouTube, let alone have a girlfriend. I mean, they can't even get a girlfriend in the Thailand YouTube community. I mean, I want to shout. I mean, I want to do a shout out. I mean, last weekend, uh, Brett L, Brett L, and Fat Tom, man, they did a great live stream, man. Where they're just trashing everybody, man. Oh, where the hell is it now? It's going to take me a while to find that. But I want to congratulate, man. I'm going to congratulate uh, those guys, man. What a great live stream that was last weekend, man. Where the hell is it? Brett L. Brett L. There it is there, Brett L. Where is that damn light? Oh, did he take it down? What the fuck? Oh, no. It's on, uh, maybe it was on Barfine's channel. 
No, where the hell is it? It's on a, a troll channel. Well, anyways, last weekend, Brent L. and uh, Barfines, Tom uh, Barfines from Broke Frame did a live stream where they're just trashing everybody. And it was, you know, a great job. It was, great to, it was a great video, bro. So good job, man. It was a great job. I'm living, that's right. Thank you very much. I'm living life. That's right. I'm living life. You know, I mean, I'm 59, bro. And I'm with a hot Filipina half my age. I mean, if, if they were, if they were writing textbooks, I would be in chapter one on being a successful expat out here, man. I mean, I mean, they, you know, I mean, I mean, they, uh, you know, they, if they had to have, if they had to have a most valuable expat, of course it would be Ricky Drama, man. If they had, they had to hand pick out the most successful expat in the history of the Philippines. Of course it would be Ricky Drama. There's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason last year I was handpicked by the Philippines government for a quota visa, bro. Well, they only picked 50 people a year. For to, that 50 people a year, they handpicked hand, the best of the best of the best of the best expats. They give them a quota visa. I got a quota visa, bro, in record time. I passed all the requirements they call me a national treasure and made me a philippine american i'm a philippine immigrant motherfuckers they, they said we have becoming filipino and now we have ricky drama i mean i mean i'm just i'm up there becoming filipino motherfuckers i mean i don't i don't get all the respect and i don't get all the i don't get all the attaboys and i and i and i and i and definitely not popular bro but i'm out here winning their text world i'm out here winning and you see the results each and every day on my channel Big shot travel and sick grandpa you see the results every day of that winning out here i mean i'm just out here Killing it, motherfuckers! <laughs> uh, Don't see in the chat. What's going on, man? Yeah, Don't see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Brett L. Uh, Brett, uh, uh, let's try him in the chat. Try him in the chat. Let me moderate right <laughs> Where the hell is uh, my... Uh, uh, uh. See here, uh, where the hell's my channel, bro? Let me see here, uh, live stream. Let me see here, uh, it's uh, there's a uh, try to make him a moderator. There we go, thank you very much. Brett L quit his government job to go drink with Fat Tom for 12 months. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but they did a great job, man. That was a that was an epic video, bro. Last weekend, it's on a troll channel somewhere, Thailand YouTube community, man. It was that was a great that was a great video, bro. That was a great video, man. That was a great video, bro. I mean, congratulations, man. I was gonna actually go on there. What's up, Toronto Brad? Hope you're well, sir. I, I was gonna, I was actually gonna go on his live stream and congratulate him for an outstanding uh, achievement, man. That was a great job, bro. So, did they take Fazio's channel down? Is it down, bro? Is it down? I don't know, bro. I have no idea, man. I didn't check. We're supposed to be going to Bahal here, man, uh, tomorrow. Uh, actually, on Monday, on Monday, on Monday, but we're not sure if I'm going now. Bahal is very boring, Don C. Probably the most boring place you can go, bro. I mean, we're going to go, you know, I, I really wanted to go back to the Stanley House, back to the shit shack, you know, the famous shit shack, and then uh, and find out where the grave is, bro, because I want to bring Mr. Michael Thomas Foggio flowers out there. I want to bring him flowers and a can of yellow paint, bro. I mean, I still, I still just think about Jim Morrison's grave in Paris, France, when I went to see it back in September 1986. I mean, I, I got to my duty station in, in Germany, and then I took a weekend trip to Paris, 
And I went and Sunday morning I went to Jim Morrison's grave in Paris in 1986, man. And I went, I went, and I went, I went up to the guard. And I'm like, Jim Morrison, the doors. And this is what he did. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> Throw the fuck off, you know. And I got closer and it's the Jim, Jim, they had arrows and you know, all the gravestones had Jim and arrows, and the closer you got, there was more graffiti, and all of a sudden there it was, Jim Morrison's grave, bro. Anyway, I want to make it like that for Michael Thomas Fazio, you know, so that people know where to go to see the icon of hate, bro, the, the worst expat in history. I mean, I'm the best expat in history of Philippines, handpicked for a quota visa, just like becoming Filipino. I'm a Filipino-American. I'm a Filipino immigrant. You know, Fazio was, you know, the worst human being, the worst expat ever to land on the shores of this beautiful paradise we call the Philippines. Man, anyway, I just wanted to go celebrate it. She left me. Harriet, she left me. She left me. And uh, I am pretty sad about it pretty sad about it you know i found out she was a ofw in dubai i found out she was an ofw in dubai and you know uh, and then uh and then i read about the uh, i read about the uh a scandal there where the hell is it I read about this in Dubai, bro. Uh, Harriet, I read about this. In, what the hell? Oh, come on. I mean, Dubai, Porta Potty, influences are apparently being, apparently being pooped on for cash. <laughs> I, mean, I, I found out she was in OFW Dubai, Harriet, and, and, and people are getting pooped on there for cash. I mean, my God. God, I heard about this in Thailand. I mean, I heard about this. I heard I actually heard about this from Lily Drama that, you know, the Arabs, you know, you go you these girls go out and party with Arabs and then they have they pull out the they pull out the poop, bro. They pull out the poop, bro. And then and then today, uh, Mike from uh, Mike uh, from Fi Mike's Philippines was on the Philippines Annex show talking about the Dubai girls. You know, if the girls, if a, if a girl's been to Dubai as an OFW, just don't say no and walk away. And then we found out, yeah, yeah, Dubai OFW, bro, poop apart, porta potties. <laughs> no, she just went to the store, Harriet. I'll be right. She just went to the store. She just went to the store, Harriet, to buy uh, some um, some sugar for her coffee. Travel, learn, repeat. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, is he is he really having a breakdown? I have no idea. So, anyways, yeah. So six and I in the chat. So basically, you know what's going on is that you know I'm just trying to do a live stream. You know, put some content. You know, people uh, send some donations, and you know, I, I you know I feel like it's my duty to uh, you know provide some content. You know. I was really turned off today by the Philippines Annex channel, you know, where I thought, you know, it's been pretty, it's pretty much. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's all. You know, that's Filipinas, bro. Filipinas on YouTube. That's they dream of the BBC, bro. You know, Filipinas want black guys. You know, if, there, if there's a Filipina on, if, if there's a Filipina on YouTube, they want a black guy. Okay, come on. Just, just admit it, bro. Filipinas on on Philippine YouTube, bro. They're they're woke, they're woke, day, they're woke all day, and they they want black guys. That's it. That's it. That's it, man. I mean, so so if you're if 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 you know all these Filipinas want black guys, you know why are you on Philippines Annex trying to save the world? You know, trying to you know trying to spend all your money on on, on these girls that are just going to block you the moment you arrive in the country. I don't get it, man. I just don't get it, man. And then this dude, this dude, uh, well, what's his damn name? What's this dude, this dude on the channel today? Oh, where's no? Oh, where's that channel? 
this dude on the channel today, you know, here he is, Mr. Big Poppy. Mr. Poppy. There he is here. Excuse me. This Big Papa guy, this Big Papa guy, it's just really sad that uh, he was arguing with everybody about, you know, the Filipinas and their channels and the status and everything. Bro, you just got to just forget about all these girls on, on YouTube and just get here and try and find a home health provider, uh, assisted living, you know, your, uh, take care of your activities of daily living to help you out here. That's all you need to worry about, man. These, these, these Filipinas on YouTube aren't going to care about you, bro. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree with that. You know, what's up, big shot officer? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. I think it'd be great to meet her. You know, it'd be you know, it'd be great to meet her and do a live stream. You know, and just hang out. We could hug. You know, hey, you know, we got drunk and stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, it'd be fun to hang out with Heidi and party. Why not, man? Why not? Why not, bro? Well, she has two ex husbands from Dubai. <laughs> Come on, no, she don't, man. No, she don't. I just think, but I just think, you know, it's fun to listen to them, but unfortunately, they've gone to hate. Philippine Annex has turned into a hate channel, bro. That's it. They turned into a hate channel. They better pray to the God. They better pray to the Lord that that Sissy Kelly, you know, doesn't tr find out doesn't find out uh, Sharon Lapu Lapu's lawyer. <laughs> I mean, just better pray that because all that girl said was one word, you know, one derogatory word about Sharon Lapu Lapu. Seven figure settlement, man. Or was it six figures? Seven, no, seven figures. Seven figures. So 10 million pesos are crazy numbers, bro. I mean, you got to be very careful out there, bro. Be talking, man, about uh, girls, bro. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't expect, yeah, who cares about, you know, Listen, man. You know all, all these all these dudes on YouTube, bro. They're all they're all trying to they're all trying to uh, get your money, bro. It's just a big scam. Everyone's on here trying to scam, man. I mean, all these people that we thought that are our friends and they were legitimate, they're they just turned into huge scammers, bro. I mean, and the other thing too, bro, is that you know you just got to uh, you just got to like uh, stay in your lane and. You know, don't don't do anything for anybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I committed to Barry Jordan. I tried to help him out because you know he's being prosecuted. You know, he's being uh he's being uh he's being he's being uh prosecuted by you know you know a, a horrible horrible person, man. So you got to try and help him out, man. But otherwise, man, after this, man, <laughs> after this, man, it's all about you know it's all about uh you know it's all about the the drama franchise, the drama franchise. Max, what's going on, man? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, who? Yeah, who knows, bro? I mean, I don't. I'm, listen, man, I don't even know who Goldfinger was, bro. I don't even know. You know, I mean, I saw him on the. I saw him on that Pimp's channel, bro. I mean, the dude's a pimp, bro. I mean, that guy, you know, that old dog. He's a pimp. He's from, you know, he was in Phuket. He's a bar manager. He's a pimp, bro. He's just a pimp, and then he comes here, and then he starts. He starts doing the same thing, bro. I mean, so who's you know, if you're here and you know you've been here for a while, you're not watching any of these guys, bro. I mean, it's just like uh, I don't understand it, bro. But anyway. I didn't even know who that Goldfinger dude was, bro. And he's all like, uh, and then uh, he's like, yeah, I'm selling, I'm giving food away, you know. I need your money. <laughs> Donate to me so I can feed all the kids in Dubuque, man. I'm like, who is that? Who the fuck? The, what? what, what? <laughs> Pretty funny, bro. Ravi, what's going on, man? I see you, man. I see you. What's going on? Yeah, and then that Ozzy, uh, the, the, the uh, eBay and Ozzy. He came out with another video today. You know, listen, uh, eBayer. Ozzy eBayer, you have your hobby farm. You have your you have your YouTube farm. Just do your thing and, you know, and just do your thing and shut your mouth. I mean, why do you have, you know, why, you know, why do you have to eBay? Why do you have to eBay, uh, you know, a broke, broke midget e, uh, Ozzy? The broke midget Ozzy or the...
uh, uh, eBay and Ozzy, eBay and Ozzy. Why you got to eBay again? Then hate on everybody else for e-begging, bro. Your whole life is about e-begging. He's like, there's hard e-begging and soft e-begging. And then, you know, I'm talking about the Aussie farming in the Philippines, man. This guy is just, you know, a straight out e-begger, but he hates on everybody else that's e-begging, bro. But he's the biggest e-begger of them all, bro. I mean, it's just like, I just don't get it, man. It's shut your mouth and, you know, do your hobby farm and, and do your e-begging, man. Why you got to sit there? It's like Ace Patrick Cool. Why are you dogging on Philly in the Philippines, man? I think it's a bad thing to do, bro, because, uh, you know, I mean, seriously, man, I don't know. I was at a party last night. I was at a party last night, and uh, these dudes are like, yeah, this guy here, he's on YouTube. You know, he talks shit about everybody, and uh, he's a troll and just talks shit about everybody, you know. And that's it. That's how they describe me, bro. You know, yeah, he's on YouTube. He just talks a bunch of shit, you know, makes fun of everybody. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, is that good? Is that good? Is that is that good to have a reputation like that, you know? Yeah, it is. Because <laughs> nobody cares, bro. I mean, I don't got any friends. You know, I don't got, you know, I don't got any friends I, you know i mean do you have time to have friends you know so i'm over here to have you know some fun and enjoy my retirement bro because you know i've you know people that have friends you know they don't have any money bro i mean that's what i'm saying bro i mean but if you have you know but you know you know you don't need friends if you have money bro i mean because in your head you're just like yeah you want to yeah i went to the casino and i you know i spent some money but that's just the money i would have spent this month you know, is uh, Apple's birthday, so we're spending money for that, bro. Anyway, yeah, I'm not slapping anybody, bro. I'm not slapping anybody, bro. You know, we gotta, you know, we're just waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting for people to show up, bro. Because people are eventually going to show up out here, bro. I mean. Because you know, we can't even be eating assault charges all day long, man. Somebody's gotta start it, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. I mean, there's many people in jail, bro. There's many people that help in jail, but unfortunately, no one appreciates it, bro. You know, it, there's you know, I mean, it, there's many, many foreigners in jail here, bro. I mean, think about the guy that was in Barry's. Uh, you know, detention center, you know, the old guy with the beard, you know, that he was there like for seven years or something, bro. I mean, seven years or something like that. Babe. Yeah, babe. Oh, friend's here. No, oh, babe, I should get out of the bottle. No, it's not good. Okay, babe. Because of the, look at the bottle. Okay, babe. Thank you. The There's many people to help out here, man, but no one appreciates it, man. It's just, you know, it's like that. Uh, what's that guy, dude? The uh, that guy in Lapu Lapu that uh, Louis Cabo sending two hundred dollars to every time. Uh, where is this? Where is this channel at? Uh, he's Philippine American. He's in. Uh, he's here in Cebu. But uh, you know, he puts up all every every video is with a is with a is with a a, a young a Filipina teenager. You know. Uh, Young, a beautiful Philippine teenager. What's his channel? Oh, what's the channel called? But uh, he puts up uh, he puts up videos, and every girl and every every person he's, they're called Q's kids. That's right, Q's adventures. Anyway, this guy this guy he's he's out here to help everyone and save everyone here. But everyone he's saving is is hot, super hot, young uh, Filipina, man, a teenager, super hot, young Philippine teenager, man. Everyone he's trying to save, man. You know what I mean? You know, so he's, you know, he's handpicking everybody trying to save, and they're super young and hot and sexy, you know. And then he's, they start their own channel and just explodes, bro. I mean, and then they have teenage girls walking around, you know, filming all their friends, you know. But, you know, who, can, who wants to watch that? I mean, Philippine teenagers. I mean, there's people, you know, foreigners out there want to watch Philippine teenagers. I mean, I don't know, man. You know. Thank you, babe, for the beer. Yeah, we're out here killing it, man. Yeah, the, the rent, bro. 9,000 pesos. <laughs> babe, can we move the Dumaguete for 9,000 peso house? What? <laughs> 
But, babe. What? Nah, babe. I know what we're doing, babe. You don't have to worry about it, babe. Anyway, uh, Harriet, babe, said uh, they wanted to, you ever, Harriet said you were missing. And I said you just went to the store, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, babe. And then there's a girl. Uh, Welcome back, babe. Play, uh, yeah, babe. Old, old ladies. A you granny? Know? There's some grannies there? Yes, there? because I bought the, the sugar. And then, yeah. but they don't have it. I'm not in the building three, but there's a store there, right? We, yeah, yeah, building, where your friend is. No, I didn't. Your go friend, there. your friend. Yeah, and then, so two ladies, old ladies, and then they stare at me, and then they touch my legs. Really? Yes, the two ladies. Why? I don't know. And then they said, "Oh, you're very sexy. Your legs is very." Uh, Look good. Wow. Your legs look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're thin, yeah. And I said, can I, can I, can I touch your legs? Why? And then she said, nothing because very attractive. Wow. Really? Yeah, your legs are good, babe. Huh? <laughs> your legs are good. They're thin, you know, they're thin. But just, they're very they thin. are old, old guy, old ladies. There's yeah, your foot, your foot's very, yes, uh, your foot's very beautiful too somebody said your your foot sexy too huh babe yes like the, the guy at the shoe the, the guy at the department store with the and shoes said the your, ladies yeah what the ladies say what they all say about your foot tonight the old sandals there will fit to my foot yeah why they fit to your foot because it's nice look yeah your good yeah your foot looks Perfect. good with the nails yeah with the nails let's break one babe no why let's break a nail oh, hold on babe hold on it's okay if you break yeah, a nail. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's break a nail. Let's break a nail. Later you will, you will, we will let's go back it. there again, and then you, you pay again. Yeah, how much it costs to break one nail? How much is that? Four hundred pesos, right? Pesos, yes. Yeah, so one uh, five five toes is two thousand pesos. <laughs> Not That's this too time. much, babe. It's too much. <laughs> Because we only pay fifty five hundred for uh, yeah. twenty twenty. It's more expensive if you if you get the one one by one, you know. Yeah, yeah. If you break one, it's four hundred only. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. more expensive. It's four hundred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ticklish. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ticklish. Sorry, babe. Sorry. Oh, say hi to Troudhead, babe. Say hi to Troudhead. Hi, Troudhead. He's a big donator, and uh, say hi to Maximus. Hi, Maximus. Coffee. He's running and around beer. meeting people. Yes. Coffee and beer. Don C is in Bataya. He's hanging out. Where? Don C. Don C. Suck the toes. I ain't doing that, man. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> Suck the toes. Suck the toes. I wouldn't do that. Hi, Maximus. How's your day? How yeah, you? we're winning out here. I, mean, I was telling babe that. Uh, <laughs> It was pretty funny no, listening to the Frank. He has no more money. <laughs> Frank's broke. But he went to SNR. He said maybe he buy lots of foods there. Yeah, Frank went to SNR in Metro and uh. What he bought there? But he, uh, but he admitted he, Frank finally admitted that his Social Security check doesn't last anymore. It blows right through it. Mm-hmm. He's got many people to support, babe. Yeah, many right. people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate it. Yeah, so uh, has anybody heard from Jay? Have you heard from Jay lately? No, I never heard from him. I just, uh, he just popped up to my YouTube too. He's doing live stream. He's doing live stream now? No, not now. Oh. The other day, I guess. Yeah, yeah, he's doing the other day. Yeah. I hope he comes back, you know. Yeah, come back here. Yeah, because Valencia, you know, sucks. <laughs> why, you, why you went there? Valencia why sucks, you? bro. I mean, you know, oh why would you God. move to Valencia, yeah. bro? I mean, if, that's for broke people like uh, Mike's Philippines Retirement. I mean, that's for broke people like uh, Mark Thornton. You know, there's more broke people. Who else is there? Gio in the Philippines. He has no money either. I mean. You know, old dog, broke. All you know, Valencia is for broke expats. Sabu is for you know, the good guys. 
Mm-hmm. It's a boost for the good guys. Good guys. The guys, you know, that can take care of business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like who? Like me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because I'm taking care of business here in our 12,000 peso apartment. <laughs> yeah, we don't have too many cockroaches. We don't have many cockroaches, right, babe? Yes. There's no bugs here. <laughs> There's no bugs. You see here, uh, Ricky Jeannie Meat is pregnant. Give him a congratulations message. Well, you know, we're just happy that, uh, you know, he's on YouTube. You know, taking care of the garden, selling jalapenos to the market, you know, enjoying his retirement. Good for him, man, because, you know, uh, he had a great run. He had a great, you know, Jeannie Mead and Foreigner Tone the Truth of the Philippines had a great run. Yeah, he's in the Hall of Fame. You know, he was a great, he was a great bullshit, a hate uh, rant, you know, a hate rant, a great bullshitter, a great, a great uh, talk, shit talker. You know, we all enjoyed it. But if they shut him down, you know, if the government shut him down or, you know, some uh, some uh, some police action shut him down or his family shut him down. All, all that matters is that he had a great run. We can we should, everybody should congratulate the guy, man. So, you know, but you can't do it. You know, GD, uh, you know, GD, you can't do it. You know, yeah, you either I go all all the way into troll or not troll, bro. You just can't like, you know, oh, you know, use uh, use, you know, Use the use the use the hate channel expat for expat uh what, what's that hate channel expat uh hating on expat trash or whatever whatever it is I don't know yeah yeah good old Steve he's starting to stream in three minutes Steve from Philippines Information Channel <laughs> yeah show your girl bro show your girl. <laughs> Show your girl. Where's your girl? Show your girl. Yeah, Jay's not heading to Florida, bro. He's not full. He's going to. Oh, Nico went to memberships. Uh, <laughs> with what is 10 people, bro? 10 people in the chat, bro. Oh, that's not it. Excuse me. With his 10 people in the chat. Well, listen, man. He was talking about, you know. Oh, uh, you know, uh, you know, come find me, come find me, you know, come find me, you know. Uh, but you, uh, like I said before, he had to leave the country because uh, he he wasn't gonna he, he wasn't gonna get an exit clearance. Okay, he wasn't gonna pass, and then he would have been stuck here for a long, long time. That's why he panicked and ran back out of here because he knew that exit clearance wasn't gonna happen, bro. <laughs> He's going to be stuck here for years. So he ran, bro. He ran back to Florida because he had to get out of before the six months. And, you know, that's good for him, man. He's with his family now. That's great, bro. I mean, you know, if you want to enjoy, you know, some dude, you know, you want to enjoy some dude, you know, that has does absolutely nothing, then go, go check out his channel, bro. I mean, you know, remember when Nico last time, you know, ran around and, Put up all this, you know, video about you know going to the province and showing all these beautiful things and everything. What happened to that? Zero views, bro. <laughs> That's what happened to it. So no one's ever gonna watch his channel. No one, no one cares about his channel. Nobody cares about that dude. You know, just go away, go away, shut down your channel, go away. I mean, the whole Allen Winter crime family is in tatters tonight. I mean, they, I mean, no one, nobody even knows who the Allen Winter, you know, nobody, you know, it's, it's the, you know, the Allen Winter crime family is the most insignificant crime family in the history of YouTube. They got absolutely nothing accomplished, bro, except, you know, you know, just a, a few meaningless live streams with Riff Raff Radio. No one remembers that. Nobody cares about them anymore, bro. Nobody cares about them anymore. Because we're winning out here. <laughs> right. Crazy. Mm-hmm. So uh, thank you, babe. Good. Thank you, babe. Yeah, I gave me six months to get that uh, MBI clearance, bro. That wasn't going to happen. So he had to bail, bail. As we'll see soon enough, bro. I mean, they're cracking down, man. They're cracking down on expats. You know, I was just, I was let, I was telling her 400, uh, 400 expats in Thailand just got arrested, bro, overnight, bro. I mean, 400 people, bro, uh, 
you know, they just 400 people across the country that just arrested overnight expats, bro. Let's, last night, it's in the news, man. So they're 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 they are they are they are, they are uh, they're like uh, really uh, going after people, man. He oh, he was, he was visiting a lot of 7-Elevens. <laughs> That's right, man. 7-Elevens, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's living in the province. Oh, oh, oh is that a, 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 a bit of city? <laughs> I didn't even know that, bro. Oh, my God, man. Yeah. I forgot to tell you, the one beer is apple flavor. Because no one sent me. Only one left. Send me apple there. Thanks, I send me light. Yeah, it's all matter. All that matters is you bought it for me, and uh, you know I love you so much. And you know, the caring that you showed. Drama, drama. The beer. Here's the drama. Drama, Ricky, drama. Ricky drama. drama. Ricky, Ricky drama. drama. Ricky. Lots of drama. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky drama. Loving all the drama. We have lots of drama. Steve the drama. drama. Steve Philippine Information Channel. Uh, welcome to my channel. My name's Steve, and I'm here with Rich in the Philippines. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about what kind of IDs you should have over here and check the inspirations. <laughs> oh, you're out of here, 32, bro. Oh, my God. Bye. Good Lord. Who's that? Spammer. Spammer. Oh, because uh, because it's been going on a long time, bro. Because my contention is he's never been anywhere in the Philippines, but he's telling everybody where to live. Babe, you live in you lived in Cavite. Yeah. So why do people live in Cavite? Why do Filipinas live in Cavite? Because their boyfriends and husbands put them out there because it's a cheap place to go, right? I don't know. They put them out there because there's nothing out there. But yeah, in they Kavite, put their girlfriend so like, there's nobody Kavite for them to like be with. Cavite is like province. Yeah, but they put but the OFW husband, Filipino mm -hmm. husband, mm -hmm. and the foreigners, the Chinese and you know the Chinese husband, they put the girls out there because there's no the girl can't do anything. They're stuck there, right? Yeah. They can't travel anywhere because it's very hard to get out of there, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. To go to Manila, it takes a it takes hours to get to Manila. Yes. And so they put the girls out there, so they so they're alone and they can't. They just they they're stuck there, mm. right? Yeah. That's why. That's why. That's like why the before. girls are in Cavite, like and that's before. why when Steve's selling his, you know, Cavite Trace Montero's bullshit, you know, we all know, you know, the people that know the truth, you know, no, it's full. Of, he's full of shit, man. It's just it's just a bunch of girls out there that all that are all married. And they're parked out there while their husbands are running around working, or they're or they're at the pogo, or they're at whatever. Yeah. yeah. And so there's no girls to even date out there, bro. I mean, that's why it's a complete joke to even live out there. That's why it's a eighty. That's why it's eighty, hundred, hundred twenty dollars a month to live out there, because it's a joke to live out there, bro. There's nothing there, man. And then all these dudes like I can't, you know, I can't get anybody. Yeah, because they're you know, all these girls are parked with husbands and boyfriends, man. Cavite, what's this? Maxima said. Cavite is like a suburb. Cavite is one ride to Manila by bus. I never tried to to ride with the bus from Cavite to Manila. Really? How'd you get there? The taxi? <laughs> grab? Yes, grab. Ah, uh, that's right, because you don't take the bus. I don't know how to take the bus. Yeah, but you won't take the bus. Yeah. <laughs> I never tried. I never tried to travel around Manila with a bus or jeep. You know, I don't know. Yeah, but you won't take the bus because uh, I, I that was like a joke for us. I was like, "Come on, let's get on the bus." You're like, yeah. "No, I ain't getting on the bus." <laughs> yeah. I'm not getting on the bus. I mean, because you won't take the bus because you're hot. You won't take the bus. You know. No, it's not. Hot, no, it's hot girls bus. don't take the bus. No, it's like American girl. That if they're hot, they don't get on the bus. They don't no. ride the bus. You know? No, if if I know where to go, if I know where's the place, or you know, I will take the bus. But I don't know where to where the bus stop or what what uh what next uh 
What's next? You know, I don't know. Yeah, you don't take the bus. You just won't take the bus. That's it. You won't take the bus. It's okay. You won't take the bus. But anyway, anyway, but it's very hard to get. You can't I can take the bus. Yeah, but too. when you're out there in Cavite, it's very hard to get out. Of, it's very hard to go anywhere because uh, everything's so out in the. And there's dogs, stray dogs everywhere, right? There's dogs that. everywhere. Yeah, it's just a joke. It's a joke, bro. It's a joke, man. No, it's not about being rich, Maximus. I'm not rich. Yeah, it's not about the rich. It's yeah, not, but it's I don't do you really date me, do you date me for money, babe? I don't do you know how to, to ride with the bus or the jeep. I don't know. Never been to that. My cousins knows that, you know? Yeah, yeah but, well, Sunshine Shoulder says, you know, all, all the every Filipino dates, it's all about the money. Mm-hmm. This, there's this guy, Sunshine Shoulders. His name's Cal. Mm-hmm. Calvin. He says Filipinos only are only with foreigners because of money. No, I That's don't it. know. I don't only know the reason, other, you know? but I think not all. That's yeah, pretty shallow. Mm-hmm. Not all. It's pretty shallow. It's pretty shallow. Because like, like our live stream, pretty shallow. <laughs> like our live stream. I don't know. I answer that. Yeah, but that's yeah, but I, all I can see is not not all, not all. Very boring, yeah. Not all because of money, you know. Can I another beer, babe? The apple. Oh, yeah. Thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> your foot, your foot, <laughs> your foot. Very yeah. So, anyways, you know, fifty nine in the chat. You know, millions watching around the world. All I got to say is that, you know, the Philippines is the place to come now, man. Forget about Thailand, bro. Thailand's polluted, overpriced, full of criminals, you know, full of very uh, bad people. You know, forget about th- going to Thailand, bro. It's just it's bad news, bro. Forget about Vietnam because there's no girls there. Forget about Cambodia. It's just full of toxic expat. Again, there's no girls there, you know. I saw I was watching this German guy trying to sell Indonesia. And of course, you have a Jeff, you know, JLB and the dipshits, JLB, Jeff Lee Brown, you know, he's in Bali. You know, he's trying to sell uh, Indonesia. You know, he sells bail, you know, he's like Bali's great and the dating. And of course, of course, he, he don't have a girl. He's never had a girlfriend, bro. The whole time he was in the Philippines, he never had a girlfriend. That's why he's dying in the Philippines now, because he's blacklisted probably. <laughs> I mean, and then where else is there to go? Malaysia, you can't be, you know, there's no girls there. Indonesia, there's no girls there. Philippines is the last place to go, bro. Philippines is the last place to go. And then on top of it all, bro, I mean, all these girls become more Americanized every day, so. And, of course, Thailand has Fat Tom. That's right, full of Fat Toms. <laughs> yeah, I'm full of Fat Tom, bro. And Fat Ricky, man. Fat Ricky, too, man. Fat uh, Ricky. And, but, anyways, I had to get out of there, bro. It's just, it's just uh, time, to, time to bail. Now we're going to rent a car, bro. You know, I haven't driven in the uh, Philippines. We're going to rent a car at the end of the month for uh, two weeks. We're going to rent a car. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's the thing, bro. I mean, that's the breaking news. You know, they had another, uh, they had another, uh, they had another uh, article about uh, Philippines, or about best places in the world to live. Where the hell is it? And, uh, of course, uh, of course, uh, Cebu is the number one place in the world to live. So I read. I was there was this article that was out uh, a news or I'm sorry, a magazine article or whatever, and it had the top 25 places to live. Excuse me, babe. I have a turn over here. And then uh, say hi to Toronto, Brad, babe. Hi, Toronto, Brad. Toronto, Brad. He's back in Toronto. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> hi. How are you? And uh, Cebu was number one, but number three, bro, was this place in northern. Uh, there's a place in northern Mindanao, man. Take a look here. So it's this number three in the number number three in the world was this place in northern Mindanao. See that Mount uh, Kid and Kidang Land or whatever? 
Anyway, this place is by Valencia City. Remember that uh, South African blogger? Remember that South African YouTuber that was uh, like, uh, he, owned a, he, owned a, he owned a burger shop down there or something? He owned a burger shop down there by the by the colleges in Valencia City. That he, he's a South African guy that was on YouTube. He was older, bald head. But this city here, this Lapton city here, this city is the number, according to this magazine, is the third best place in the world to retire and the temperature at night is 14 to 16 Celsius. This city, which is like 90 minutes south of CDO, mm. is supposed to be the number three place to go now, the Philippines to retire, bro. So I'm like, we're going to go check this out, bro. We're going to rent a car and then drive up there and check it out, bro. This uh, Valencia City and uh, this place here, number three place in the world to retire, bro. I mean... Damn! I mean, what's this going? You know, I mean, what have we been missing out there? I mean, I remember that's right, Francis. There you go, Francis Williams. That's right, the South African guy, the South African guy. And uh, but remember, he do the videos, and then all be these be these expats that looked like they were run down. They had you know, all their clothes were in shambles, and they had no money, but they're running around there. Remember all that? Shit? Remember all those videos and shit like that, man? And it, who you know that was like 2018 2019 before the pandemic and now bro it's the number 3 place in the world bro i mean what oh regular guy was there yeah that figures hunting down the 18 to 20 yeah say hi to regular guy babe there's this guy named regular guy say hi to regular, hi, regular guy. guy yeah regular guy yeah, it's too bad, regular guy, that you know you, you, you can never do this on your on your YouTube channel. <laughs> I mean, you got so much talent, regular guy. You got so much skills. You know, you're so good looking. You know, uh, you know, you, you couldn't do it in Korea. You couldn't do it in Canada, and you sure as hell, regular guy, can't do it here in the Philippines. I mean, you can't score shit out here, bro. <laughs> I mean, and then, all right, babe. What? What? Regular guy. He's just the loser. No. <laughs> Why? I don't yeah, know. he's a loser. He's a loser. I don't know. Yeah, Regular yeah. guy's a loser. Anyway. I can say that. I can so, say that. I can say I that. I can tell because. Double the age of regular guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regular guy is like 60, bro. He's like regular guy is like as old as uh, as old as that Thai blogger, the Aussie, mm -hmm. that Aussie blogger, the uh, you know the, the guy that runs around with the with all the braids on and you know that uh, you know anyway yeah they're like same age probably yeah. oh Kelly Caldwell he's been grounded by his wife <laughs> Big tall. yeah his wife's Filipino that's pretty funny man that's pretty funny. Yeah, anyway, regular guy, you know, I mean, I mean, what an embarrassment to uh, Canada, bro. I mean, the guy is completely out there. And then, you know, he's got to show up. He's got to buy his views and likes and his subscribers. And, you know, he's making no money. He's living in hotels for $10 a night. And he actually thinks he's going to be uh, somebody on YouTube. <laughs> it's not going anywhere, bro. The only place you're going is, you know, you're going to go home and get your Get your uh, get all your money from uh, you know the family, and they'll probably send you money now. Probably get all the money now from the family, just like you get it from Uncle Sam. I got an uncle, Uncle Sam. He sends me the money. Yeah. Are you gonna have a are you gonna have a baby, baby? Hmm? Are you gonna have a baby, baby? Maybe. I mean, maybe, maybe you can make it happen, babe. We get a feeding. We go uh, get the, uh, you know, we go to the doctor and then they make the sperm stronger. Mm -hmm. And then you have my baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah, and there's this thing called government benefits. <laughs> We're gonna get a lot more money, man. I mean, we learned all about this from, uh, from uh, that dude that you know, the dude, uh, the dude in Naga City that. Uh, 
hates everybody on benefits. You know the you know the guy that owns the apartments and he he has the radio voice and he's but he hates uh, he hates government benefits. He went when I saw that video, I was like, damn, we can get some government benefits <laughs> and they're gonna pay our bills. And we're gonna have a bunch of kids and we'll have a bunch of kids and they're gonna pay our bills and we can live on welfare just like we're in America, but here in the Philippines, I can have a hot wife to do it. Because you don't want to go back to America, right, babe? Mm -hmm. You want to stay here in the Philippines or go to the U.S.? Here in the Philippines. Yeah, you want to stay here in the Philippines. and We can collect all the benefits and drink all the beers and pop all the pills. And and, and, we're, and, and everyone's going to pay for it, babe. And, then, and we're going to have eight kids. What? <laughs> Crazy. Instead of, have a pig, instead of a piggery, babe, we'll have a bunch of kids. You yeah, know what I mean? know. And then each kid will generate an income every month from the U.S. government. And then we're going to be rich. You will. <laughs> we'll be rich. We'll have a huge house and gin and we'll have a huge house at the, on, on a beach somewhere. And we'll have a huge house, you know, uh, up there in that northern Mindanao, you know, on a cool hill where we'll have our hobby farm and talk shit about the the eBay and Aussie midget. <laughs> we'll just be, we'll be direct competition, you know, to have the most likes and views with a, a parrot and a, you know, in a lima and a in a uh, in a goat. I mean, because they're like, hey, let's do a, you know, let's do a selfie with this lima today. No. Oh, we got a turkey. Let's name. Let's give it a name, Billy. <laughs> That Stacy guy, you know, I mean, he's really getting in our skin in, the, in Arkansas. You, you. Granny Coconuts is making videos now about us, and they're losing their shit. And these motherfuckers, they couldn't get laid if they tried, motherfuckers, man. Because you're just a bunch of you, you, you fucking trolls on that expat scammers. You fucking trolls on that grinding coconuts. You fucking trolls on all your other stupid channels. You just don't have what it takes to be a real man out here. A real expat, according to you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, Goldfinger. You know, Goldfinger says you're not a real expat. You're not a real man unless you're helping the community. We help the community, <laughs> don't we, babe? Excuse me. Do we help the community? Mm-hmm. We do. We spend money. Yeah. Cheers, babe, for helping the community. Mm -hmm. We help the community. We spend money, and we take care of we take care of families, right, babe? Yeah, we're doing good out here, man. And when we have 10 kids, you know. Don't dream. <laughs> to each kid, each kid will, how much will they get? <laughs> each kid will get $1,300 a month, right? So that's $13,000 every month for for you know, supplement for the kids, bro. I mean, damn, we're, we're gonna start a dive shop and call it a call it critter drama, bro. We're gonna have a critter drama dive shop, and then you know, but we'll, 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 we're gonna travel to the Maldives and some African island, you know, that no one's ever heard of, but they're gonna everyone's gonna pay our expenses in 2025. We're gonna be a bunch of fucking heroes and we're gonna sell it on Netflix and they're gonna be all hey bank, they're gonna be all, hey, uh, you know, who wants to watch some fat guy, you know, uh while around the water? And, uh, you know, uh, so, you know, we'll sell it to Netflix because all these uh, generation, you know, Z is going to watch it. I mean, you, you really think young Western people in 2025 are going to watch a fat guy whopping around in the fucking water? You know, I mean, yeah, you know, because he's got a personality, bro. I mean, I mean. What the f where are they fucking these people living? You know, what kind of what, what are they fucking eating and smoking and drinking, bro? I mean, they're gonna sell this shit on Netflix. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> they sell it on Netflix, man. <laughs> uh, say hi to Harriet, babe. She's Harriet was worried about you. Mm -hmm. Why? 
why is she worried about me? Because she says you should reproduce 10 kids. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get benefits for all of them, you know. Don't dream 10 kids because even one. <laughs> I can handle 10 kids, babe. I have 10 kids. I mean, we'll, gonna, we'll have 10 nannies, babe. We'll, just like, we'll, we'll, do, we'll have 10 nannies like our friends. What? Well, to, each kid will have a nanny. Why the other, like, like my example, my auntie, she have 10 kids. Why she didn't get nanny when they have money? Huh? Yeah, I don't. She, she she's strong. That, she's a strong she can mom. Take that, the, my 10 cousins, huh? Why? Not all can, not, not at all will get nanny like that. That's right. Can. Benefits for heroes. Benefit for heroes. And of course, you know, you know, I mean, we're going to take care of, we'll take care of all our responsibilities with the money and all the kids. Anyway, babe, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. We'll have 10 kids. It's not a good idea. Huh? It's not a good idea. And then uh, you won't, you still won't have any uh, scars. Huh? Because, you know, if you have 10 kids, it's going to, you know, get a scar. I don't know. Yeah. I guess. Because right now it's you you don't have any. Yeah, I don't have. Yeah, you're so beautiful. I'm beautiful. Yeah, I'm just saying you, you have you had a you have a baby. Uh-huh. And you know, you don't have any scarring or anything. Yeah. So if you have ten kids, you know, I think you'll be okay. Yeah. But I don't want ten kids. That's uh -huh. one a year to your forty, babe. No. Okay, babe. Find other girl and make ten kids with. Oh, babe. I mean, maybe we can, uh, you know, maybe we can have a surrogate. No. Surrogate kids. Surrogate kids. No, no. Uh, flying circus. Did you say hi to Flying Circus? He's he's in a trailer travel. He's in a he's in a single white trailer in Arkansas. Uh, lonely tonight in a in an abandoned trailer park <laughs> with a bunch of meth addicts. <laughs> Say hi to the Flying Circus in Arkansas. He always he, no. He's he's a hater. He's a troll. You know he's he's always wanted to come to the Philippines. He had a dream. He had a dream to be like his mentor, Michael Thomas Fazio, his mentor. You know, to come out here and be somebody and get a girl and live out his fantasy. But unfortunately, none of it worked out because you you're. you're Bro, bro, <laughs> you're bro, bro. <laughs> Too bad, so sad. You can't be like us, cause I'm America's hero. <laughs> I'm out here winning. <laughs> oh, we got Gypsy in the chat. What's going on, man? Say hi to Gypsy. He's in China. Hi, Gypsy. I saw him. We don't before. want to get. Yeah, we don't want to get, get arrested. Uh, there are a few women uh, that don't develop stretch marks. Hey, there we go. There you go. You know, we got sixty-six in the chat, and uh, let me see here. Uh, Philippines Information Channel eighty-six. Yeah, he's winning. Oh, they're both done. Oh, yeah, look at them, man. Look at them, man. They're like, Aah. oh, they look clean today. Wow, good job. Yeah, Stephen Rich look clean, huh? They look clean. Yeah, Steady Eddie, Edward Sweeney, he's really losing the plot too, man. I don't know why everyone's going negative. I am, Gypsy. Why is everybody going oh, negative? Yes. I just don't, I don't understand it, but whatever. Zero donations. Yeah, we didn't get any donations tonight. Oh well. We bought what we buy today, babe. We bought oh yeah, do my blood pressure, babe. It's in the top. It's in the top. What? Do my blood check my blood pressure. No, later. No, oh later. come on, babe. We train now for fun. Come on. It's something to do, babe. Go grab it. It's on the top shelf, please. We try for fun, babe. Come on. It's for fun. Anyways, maybe uh we'll get a donation for doing blood pressure. <laughs> We just bought this tonight, bro, because uh, my other one, my other uh, expensive one I bought in Bangkok broke. That's right, Rich. We all miss Mr. Fazia. Rest in peace. You know, we're trying to, we're, we're going to Bahal on Monday, man. Maybe we'll find it. 
Wow. Like we did. Uh, we need to find Michael Fazio's grave site. Like, like, Actually, I'm going to send my trike driver in Baha. I'm going to send him some money on Gcash, and he's going to look for it. <laughs> All right, babe, it's wrapping up there. Hey, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> okay, fine. Sorry, Ricky. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? I'm on. trying to fix the... Uh, what? Trying to fix the uh, thing there. Put it around. This is the old fashioned one, man. Old fashioned. Okay. Wrap it around there. Make it nice Let and tight. me do it. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. There you go. Is okay. it tight? That's huh? good, babe. Good. Good. Then, then uh, you put that there. Yes. Yeah. Then uh, there you go. And then Hello, we, Mike. there's your meter there. Oh, there's your, uh, there's your, like there, there's your, thing. there you go. Yeah, put the set this guy. Wait a minute, ma. Yeah, there you go. Oh my God. Your head like this. Yeah, good. Okay. There's the thing there. <clears throat> now you just squeeze it until it's at 200. <laughs> and then you let the air out. Why? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you got to tighten it up first. Okay, there you go. I'll just tighten it up, get it up to 200. So I, yeah, until the 200. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not going up yet. There you go. So get up to 200 <clears throat> right there, and then let the air out real oh, slow. Wait. Yeah, let the air out real slow. No, not, not slow. Let the air out. Slow, 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 slow. Slow, 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 slow. Try it again. Try it again. There you go. No, <laughs> let it out real slow. There you go. All right. What'd you get? 122 here, 80. 122 over 80? Yes. All right. Perfect. 122 so over 80. Yeah. That's perfect. Thank you, babe. And me. Nah, babe, we didn't do you. You don't want you're 100 over 80. Or 100 over 60. Yeah, there you go. There we, we made it. Yeah, there we go. 120. Yeah, over 80. Yes. There you go. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. We, yeah, we're doing good. We're, yeah, 122 over 80. That's very good. Yeah, we're doing good with that, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Trout Head. Yeah, yeah. 122 over 80. That's great. Yeah, it's great. We, yeah, 1980s, bro. Exactly, man. We could do it ourselves, bro. This is from uh, 2,000 pesos. 2,000 pesos for the stethoscope and the blood pressure. You know, and from, uh, you know, it's old school, bro. Old school, man. 2,000 pesos for this. That's it, man. For the stethoscope and the, the cuff and the meter, man. 2,000 pesos, man. Just do it uh, manually. That's it. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, we're winning out here, man. We're winning. What time is it, Brim? Okay. Oh, it's uh, 10 o'clock. Anyway, well, thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it. You know, uh, we're just trying to do some more content, you know, talk some more shit, have some more fun. You know, that's all we can do is uh, do our best. You know, I needed, I know I need to do live streams, but maybe, uh, but, uh, but there's, we're just very boring, man. We have nothing, we don't do anything. <laughs> we don't do anything. Oh, babe, we can play doctor and nurse. Mm -hmm. You can be the nurse tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm always your nurse. Yeah, you, you do a good job. You can give me a massage. Yes. You give me a massage. You take care of Ricky. Yeah. You do a good job, babe. Thank yeah. you for taking care of Ricky. Thank you for taking care of me. Oh, Frank's in the chat. Frank in the chat. Chubby. Yeah, Frank. What's going on, man? Yeah, congratulations. Uh, you know, your check doesn't last anymore out here. Ha <laughs> ha you're broke. <laughs> you're broke. <laughs> Frank's broke, babe. Why? Because uh, his his, his yeah, meager, they, his meager broke, social have, security check have, doesn't last. You have Gilda. He have eight kids. So he's broke. Yeah, he has Gilda, eight kids, and uh, he has lots of money, babe. But uh, yeah, yeah, he has no money. money. <laughs> no money. Oh my God! He can't afford anything at SNR but rye bread. Horse. Don't have money. How can he buy me apples 
17 Pro Max. That's right, Frank. You're going to buy Apple a new iPhone. Yeah, he promised. When he promised you a new iPhone? Oh, uh, my birthday. That's right. Your birthday. Yeah, Frank, you owe her iPhone for birthday. <laughs> I will find you, Frank, if you don't give me that. Yeah, she's going to find you, Frank. <laughs> She'll find you out there in Battalion Island. <laughs> you know, you don't want to do that, Frank. Yeah, you need to, uh, you need to, uh, you need to, you need to hang it up there, hang it up there. <laughs> hired girl. Yeah, everyone's hired, Frank, except yours, Frank. Yeah, yeah. Hired, and your grill day's hired, too. <laughs> everyone's hired, babe. Uh, anyway, say goodnight, babe. Huh? Say goodnight. Good night, everyone. Good, good night, night everybody. Friends. Thanks for watching. Good I appreciate dreams. it. Hope you can wake up tomorrow. I'm sorry. <laughs> You can. <laughs> uh, Frank's going to live a long time. There you go. Hey, we got $50 from Troudhead. Thank you very much. Thank Trout you, Troudhead. Whoa, Troudhead, thank you very much. $50. Thank you very much, Troudhead. $50. God bless you, man. Thank you very much. Have a good night, Troudhead. Thank you, Troudhead, for the $50, day, man. You're great. Thank you. Great American. You're great Aussie. Yeah, you're great. <laughs> good night, Frank. Yeah, Frank. Ha, ha, good Frank. We just got $50. Ha, ha, ha. Ha ha ha! Hey, Stacy, uh, stay fast, Stacy. What's going on, man? Yeah, we out here winning. That's right. Say hi to Steadfast Stacy. He's working hi, so hard. Steadfast Stacy, how are you? Go to his channel, Steadfast Stacy. He's and he's, you know, he, uh, you know, all 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 these dudes like Ozzy, you know, Ozzy farming the Philippines, you know, all these channels, you know, uh, you know, all they do is talk about this guy, Steadfast Stacy, and the great job he's doing. To take down uh, these uh, these uh, horrible horrible human beings that have channels here in the Thai, in the Philippines YouTube community, especially you know you know, thank you Stacy for taking care of GD Mead. You you own GD Mead from the outset. You took them down and you destroyed GD Mead's reputation. You destroyed his persona and you destroyed his channel, Stacy. God bless you for doing all America, doing hard all the hard work to get it done out here. Great job, man. Good job, Stacey. Anyway, Stride, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Whoop, whoop, Night, Frank. whoop, whoop. Ha ha, Frank. We got $50 from Troudhead. We're winning out here, Frank. <laughs> We're winning out here. Frank's not even monetized, babe. Yeah, because, you know, he can't get a PIN number because, uh, you know, he's so stupid. He can't get a PIN number oh, in a monetized. So <laughs> I mean, he, you know, he's the smartest guy. You know, he's putting away, he's putting everybody in detention centers and doing lawsuits and, you know, doing this and that and, you know, prosecuting every YouTuber in the, in the YouTube community, but he can't get a PIN number <laughs> delivered to his house <laughs> come on man that's like rick shaw hey frank you hear that hey frank rick shaw and rick shaw goes to america said he was completely broke had no money for any for to do you know he's completely broke had no money for airfare or anything and then on his last live stream frank he goes oh by the way i have five i have four thousand eight hundred dollars in my youtube account you know uh Ha ha ha! <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what a what a scumbag e-bigger Rick Shaw, bro. Jesus. But thank you very much, Trident. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much, babe. We got we have stuff to do now. A boiled egg. Yeah, you boiled an egg, babe. And we then uh, you make you egg. make my tuna. You make my tuna. Yes, it's tuna. Yeah, we have a tuna sandwich, babe, because we're winning out here. <laughs> Thank you, babe. You're Thank you, babe. Oh yeah, we're winning out here, man. What can we say, man? What can we say? You know, so if you're, you know, if you're, if you're sitting there tonight, like a flying circus, and you're dreaming of the future, you know, all I gotta say is get out here to the Philippines, man. Get out here and try your best. I mean, you can live out here, babe. Our, our room's twelve thousand pesos, right? Yeah. We're paying two hundred dollars a month for our room. That's it, man. And we have, and this is a nice room. We have a good time in this room. We have a nice room, man, for two hundred bucks a month, man. And then you can walk 
to the mall, you can walk to the SNR, which is like the Costco. You walk to the, you can go to get a, you know, the Goldfinger, the Goldfinger guy was talking about, uh, you know, he, he made a pot, he, he got a medical policy, you know, with that Michael Onstead, uh, the medical insurance, you know, that, uh, you know, uh, Steve from Philippine Information Channel is always trying to uh, talk about. And they wanted to save his policy, so they sent him out, you know, to get all these medical tests. And then they said that, oh, you know, Michael Onstead, the, the, the uh, insurance uh, broker, will just pay for all his medical tests. The guy's like, okay, I'll go out and do it because you're paying for it, you know. So this guy's paying about three hundred dollars a month for the for his uh, medical insurance, but he could have gone down here to Spoo Doctors, you know, and you know, in every test and every you know, when you see the doctor at seven hundred pesos, if you get an EKG at seven hundred pesos, if you get your blood work at seven hundred pesos, if you get a uh, if you get a uh, if you get a test to check out your uh, prostate, your kidney, and uh, whatever else, it's 700 pesos, man. Everything is 700 pesos. You get an eye examination, you know, to check the back of your eyes uh, for if you have, uh, you know, if you like the black spots or whatever. 700 pesos, bro, 700 pesos for everything, man. So, you know, I mean, all that's here, man. You just get out here and try, man. That's all you can just get out here and try. Of course, the fast AC, you're going to have lawsuits. <laughs> <Just joking. laughs> It's very hard to get a it's very hard to get a cyber claim a cyber libel claim through Stacy. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it, man. You don't worry about it. Yeah, Goldfinger, man. He, Goldfinger lost. You know that Critter Hunter, bro. That Critter Hunter, man. You gotta give him credit, man. You know that. You know everyone. You know improving everybody's health. He does a great job of doing that. That's for sure. Nope. Oh, thank you very much, Pally. Uh, very much. Hi, Ricky. Say hi to Pally. Yeah. Hi, he's in uh, he's in uh, Norway, Norway. Oh, hi, Philly. Yeah, we're trying our best to stay on and do some uh, content, you know. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. We're very boring. We're very boring. All right, everybody. Thanks for everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Cheers from yeah. Texas. God bless y'all. God bless the, across the world. Stay alive, stay alive out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's time for my time to have a tuna sandwich and my massage, right, babe? <laughs> See you. I miss Nani. Thank you, Nani. babe. Nanny, 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 Nanny. Have a great day, everybody. Good night. Good night.